the sum of the interior angles of a polygon. Now let us determine the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle. We will use a triangular sheet of construction paper to help us visualize our answer. First, we will fold vertex B so that it is on side line segment AC. Then fold vertices A and C over to meet at point B. Then, using the protractor, we will see that the three angles together measure 180 degrees. This is not a special case, but works with any triangle. So let us remember, in any triangle, the sum of the interior angles of the triangle is 180 degrees. Let us see if we can develop a formula that can be used to calculate the sum in degrees of the interior angles of any polygon. Here is hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F. If we draw all the diagonals from point A, notice that we form four non-overlapping triangles. Now you try a similar process on other polygons. Do you see a pattern between the number of sides of the polygon and the number of triangles formed? Each time you see that there are two less triangles than there are number of sides. Therefore, if we have a polygon with n sides, n minus 2 triangles will be formed. Recall from previous work that the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. Then if we multiply the number of triangles formed by 180 degrees, we will obtain the sum of the interior angles of any polygon. The measure of each interior angle in a regular polygon. If we know that a polygon is regular and know the number of sides that it has, we can use the formula the quantity n minus 2 times 180 divided by n, where n is the number of sides, to calculate the measure of each interior angle in the regular polygon. The measure of each exterior angle of a regular polygon. We can also find the measure of each exterior angle of a regular polygon. Since an exterior angle is the supplement of an interior angle, we can write the measure of the exterior angle is equal to 180 minus the measure of the interior angle, which is equal to 180 minus the quantity n minus 2 times 180 divided by n, which is equal to 180n minus 180n plus 360, all divided by n, which is equal to 360 divided by n. Thus, each exterior angle of a regular polygon equals 360 divided by n degrees, where n is the number of sides of the polygon.